Today I'll be reviewing and reacting to my Michigan State arm wrestling pulls, right? So I got third place. Um, I'm proud and I'm not proud, right? So I performed to an extent that I think is, you know, has been a much better improvement than Illinois State, um, most definitely. But I just forget to use my legs. So we're going to... We're going to talk about today, I've watched these videos a million times, but I never really got to react to them and uh, talk about them a little bit just to, you know, just to see what I see, right? Really dive in, right? So let's get started. We're going to watch this first one. So everything right down to the setup, I have it perfect pretty much, right? So this guy... Uh, this is kind of funny. So he has a kind of like, it looks like a dropped riser. I've also dropped my riser because everyone in the amateur class was pulling side pressure hook. And I think there was only one top roll. And I just figured that I'll just drop my riser, break those fingers open and get those pins right. So another thing to notice, so when you guys are setting up for arm wrestling, you want to be on your tippy toes, kind of like in boxing, so you have that agility for movement. Uh, this guy has both feet flat. They kind of just remain flat. Yeah, here we go. So let's see how fast I was. Can I do frames? No, no, not with this. Okay, so he lets go, so he says go. Yeah, not bad. I can be a few frames faster, I'll tell you. So uh, his hands are already kind of moving away, and then I go. But yeah, instantly take his wrist. Like nothing. This is carved in right away pin. And that's... That's the face I did. Oh, what happened? There we go. So that face, that is the face of someone that got flashed, right? So when I, when I flashed him, I didn't feel anything, maybe 2% of his power. He didn't have time to activate it. Obviously, look how relaxed he is. I'm already like ready, go, right? So his right leg moved a little bit. In fact, he had to turn his body out. But yeah, I was already much, much more moving for me, even though I severely disagree with this. On to the next. All right, so this guy here, a little backstory. He was a part of this team right here in the VIP tables. I'm not really sure what team or who they represented. He was in the amateurs class. He had a bit more experience. Um, you can tell from his setup, his feet, he seemed a bit more ready. One thing that maybe it's my perception, but his back right foot is almost going to fall out of there. So he's really far out from the pin, which won't let him anchor back. It'll kind of, maybe he can do kind of side pressure. Maybe that's his thing. I didn't really re read into him. Yeah, again, um, yeah, I have a solid, soft grip on him. He's probably not really experienced people who don't load. It's new to me too, I just started learning it. Oof. Didn't even react yet, right? So. Here we go. So he says, ready, go. So he actually was faster than me with the wrist, just like slim second, but it was only his wrist that had the time to curve in. My entire body was going um, 
part part of a second later right and then I get the pin I even do a double pin because I didn't think I had the pin but yeah legs holy shit man this is what kind of angle is this oh man I I don't want to do this ever again during the competition all right so that was good so again I dropped my riser Yeah, I, I open him up right away. I mean, I have his wrist. No issues. So that's this is the thing that really fucks with me is that like the people who practice flop pressing, they're able to do that right, and then that takes away all my power. So I try. I'm trying to understand. Maybe I need to grab them lower, grab this part more. If I know they're going to flop wrist, then I can just take down the arm instead of the wrist. Because I think, I mean, I, I stretch them, you know, quite, quite far. Anyway, he gets, he gets behind his shoulder and then he just presses me down. He gets me. That's okay. Ah, right, here we go. All right, backstory about this guy. He's a soft load. He has a soft hand, no load up. I don't know how to describe it, but he, he does the flash, right? He, he's really fast. Um, we're about similar speed, but I'm a lot stronger because I was able. He actually started off in a dominant position, but I overtook it. So it's going to happen within like a very quick second. Yep, so I'm like this, right? And then all of my <laughs> rotator pronation exercises kick in. All I do is this, literally straight arm, boom. I No time to react. I, I can't even complain. My body just did what it needed to do for me to like win that one. I honestly don't think I could have done anything different back at that point in time. All right, so this guy, really big arms. He's really short. I think I got solid seven inches of height on him. So I had to really compromise on, on the pad because the refs were pulling my arm back. So I had no pad space to like do anything. Um, I think, you know, I just went sideways, sideways and down. Yeah, so again, I didn't feel much, kind of like the very first guy. Um, I got the pin right away. I do feel bad. If you see his face, he just looks very sad. So I don't know if he got any wins, but I definitely was the one that booted him out of the tournament for his second loss. So yeah, um, you know, hope to keep you inspired, man. And if, I don't know if you're watching this video, uh, don't let this bring you down, you know, keep keep going. I If you watch back, you know, six months ago, I got flashed pretty bad too, and then I went 0-2. Um, continuing, all right, so my last match, I'll show you guys from this viewpoint. All right, so my thoughts going into this one, I was like, Okay, so maybe I need to do more side pressure, see if I can hook him in a bit more. Um, I was close. I mean, you guys be the judge, right? So again, yeah, I have a really good angle. He's opened up. I don't, I don't even, <laughs> don't even look at this, don't even. So now I'm trying to do this like side thing that I never do because 
I've been, you know, I've been training, but we don't train at this level, right? Like 110% effort or 100% effort. So after a certain point, I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I'm just going hard, hard pin here, but I'm running out of, like my arm is, my humerus is like kind of like this. It's not even straight. But yeah, I thought that was a pin. I think that was the one. Yeah, right there. I don't know. I thought it was a pin. I even have a, I have a photo of the hand touching the pad. It's, yeah, anyway, another rule they added. So I was, you know, I was in defensive position. He did take my riser anyway, I slipped. But because I was on the losing end, they just counted it as a loss. Um, I watched quite a bit of other people in there and they were in a similar position. They didn't get the loss, they actually went to straps. So it's kind of unfortunate, maybe I could have had a uh, chance in there because every single person that I arm wrestled that day, I went up and I'm like, hey, do you wanna do straps? Because I know that if I do straps, I can just take their whole arm off instead of just the wrist. That, you know, that's kind of it. That was my up on the stage in Michigan State. I got third place, very close to second. I found out that, you know, you first and second place get to go to East versus West qualifiers. So that is exciting. So I hope those two guys that won, you know, I hope they do it. They get to participate in such an event. This is something um, very big in their careers. But then that, yeah, it went. It went not bad. I didn't expect to flash anyone four times even. Like that's that's really good. Um, and that's kind of just concluded how I wanted my amateurs to conclude. Getting third place at such a high profile and high caliber tournament such as Michigan State is, you know, a very good thing. Um, I wish I got second, you know, I mean, I wanted to participate in East versus West, but until next time, you know. I'll try again next year as a pro. We'll see what happens. But hey guys, that pretty much sums it up. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you around. Take care. Bye-bye.